Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use a VLOOKUP statement on some data that has um, letters or numbers as a prefix to it. So right here I've got some data with ASD dash in front of it but I only want to use the numbers for the VLOOKUP to search through this small sample table. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do and if you'd like to get this worksheet go to teachexcel.com search for um, this tutorial or you can download the workbook from the home page there. Um, now let's go ahead and begin. What I've got here is sample data. Say all of this data here was imported from a CSV file. So originally we can't really control how it uh, imports. Now let me zoom in real quick. So say that ASD, the first three letters, that prefix is going to be um, like a store identification number or something like that. So I've got ASD, but then I also have CCC right here. So you can't control um, the first three letters and then the dash, which will be the first four characters. But you need to use the last three numbers to search for the product. In this example, we're just going to search to get a simple price. Um, and uh, so nothing complicated, but you'll see how to do this type of VLOOKUP. My sample table is right here, like I said. So let's go ahead and do the VLOOKUP formula equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses, also, if you'd like a more in-depth explanation of the VLOOKUP, check out some of my other tutorials, and you can find it there. So anyway, VLOOKUP, our lookup value is going to be this cell right here. But the problem is, we don't want to look up everything in this cell. We don't want to look up ASD-430. We want to only look up 430. That's it. So what we need to do is to use what's, uh, use what's called um, the text manipulation functions or the text functions. The basic ones are the left, the right, and the mid. What we want to do is we want to get characters from the right of this cell. So we're going to use the right function. So just simply start typing and you'll see that that function fills in right, open parentheses, now, um, if you didn't know you could do this, this is simply just nesting functions within functions. And Excel, um, that's really one of the more powerful features of Excel is that you can nest multiple functions within each other. So right now, we want to use the right function, and the first argument for that function is text. Let me actually paste this really quickly down here so you can see it. So now you can see the right function all right down here. The first thing we need is the text, and then how many characters we'd like to pull from that text. Now all the text means is you can simply hard code it and type in the text or select a cell with text that you would like to uh, get. So the text that we want to get is located in this cell right here. So select that cell, comma, now tell the function how many characters you want. Well, we want the first three characters on the right or from the right. So simply type in three and then close the parentheses. So that's all we need for the lookup value. All we did was add the right function, tell it what cell to get text from and how many characters to get text from the right. Now we can add a comma and go ahead and select our table array right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit F4 to make this an absolute reference. You see all the dollar signs appear when I do that. Comma, column index number 2 because I would like to get price data right here comma range lookup I want this to be false I only want exact matches hit enter and check it out so we get the price of this product 3200 let's verify that's correct where is it 430 right there and now we could copy this down to get the price for all of the products so let me go ahead and move this over here And see, it even works on uh, this data right here with the three C's in the front. So that's pretty much all there is to it. I will leave you with a view of the formula. Um, the only thing that we did was to add this function right here, the right function. So all it's doing is it's taking uh, characters out of this cell and only searching for the three characters on the right side. Now, similarly, if you wanted to get characters only from the left side, say ASD, you would use the left function and it works just like the right function, just on the other side of the text within the cell. 
The mid function is if you want to get text from the middle of a cell. I also talk about text manipulation functions in a different tutorial, so if you'd like to learn more about that, I suggest you check that out. Um, but the point is, you can put lots of other functions in the VLOOKUP, and this is one example. So if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com. You can download it there, and that's just about it for this tutorial.